guys, and welcome back. Well, you know, over the last few weeks, Diddy has been hit with multiple allegations of alleged sexual assault, jealousy, and violent outbursts. Now, the first of three lawsuits, which was settled within 24 hours, was from his ex-girlfriend and former Bad Boy Records artist, Cassie. Now, other former Bad Boy workers have come forth with more accusations, including an explosive story about Diddy breaking Kim Porter's nose in a controlling fit. Yes. Now, in a resurfaced interview with the Art of Dialogue, Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, he witnessed his uh, former boss beating Kim. Now, Kim, as you know, is the deceased mother of three of his children. But Deal said that he witnessed Diddy beating her so severely that she had to get corrective surgery on her nose. My goodness. Now, amid the latest allegation, former rapper Mark Curry confirmed that what Deal said truly happened. And he added that Diddy also wiretapped Kim Porter's phone. Now, Mark said, busted her nose, man. It was all insecurities. Anytime a man would go out of his way to wiretap someone's phone or put taps in their home just to monitor their conversations, that's a sign of insanity. So when you see someone doing that, you can imagine everything else they would do. Now, what do you think he's going to do if he found her on the phone talking to someone or feels that she's cheating on him with somebody sleeping with his girl? What do you think he's going to say? I caught you. I heard this. Nah, he's going to come in and he's going to be, it's going to be a real fight. Now, Curry also when asked if he believed Diddy could have done the things that he's accused of in the two lawsuits that came forward uh, with the New York Adult Survivor Act, uh, he said, I think he's very capable of doing it. It's in his character. That's who he is. That what comes with power. That's what comes with arrogance. Now, he continues to say that his arrogance that makes him. That's the selfishness that makes you be like that. He's being humble right now. It took a long time. It takes a long time to humble an arrogant person. Now, Curry, uh, for uh, talking about Diddy and the wrongs that he did. Now, he was an advocate for the rapper Black Rob when he was sick and dying. You know, Black Rob was one of Diddy's... Uh, uh, artists who um, became ill and sick and they said that Diddy didn't do anything to help until the last minute when about the time the man died. Uh, but, you know, this my, this Mark Curry has been uh, blasting Diddy for years now. Most recently, he spoke out about what he felt about Diddy highly publicizing that he was given the publishing rights back to his artists which he said was valueless. He said, whoop de do what's this worth? What was it worth 10 years ago or 20 years ago? He wrote on social media. Now, Mark said he likened Diddy as a spider that went in and sucked all the insides out of it. That's disrespectful. Before stating that he would rather have cash money than the publisher. It has no value. I want him to give me a million dollar cash and then I can plan the rest of my life out well, he said. Now, besides stating that his publishing holds no value, he expressed the view that Diddy's announcement of giving back the publishing rights to his artists was simply a publicity stunt. Now, he believes that Diddy was attempting to stay relevant due to his businesses falling. Mmm... And uh, the once insiders seem to have an insight in a way that most others do not into the nature of the guy who gave the world the notorious B.I.G. Now, Mark was signed to Bad Boy Records in 1997 
For almost a decade, he left the label in 2005, having not released any solo music uh, with Diddy. Yeah, well, mm, you know, it's like my mama used to say, everybody ain't going to be telling the same lie about you now. When everybody started talking about you did this and you did that and this and that, mm, some truth is going to be there somewhere in the mix. Yeah, you know, they for years, and I don't know why Kim put up with Diddy. You know, maybe it was the money. Maybe she truly loved the ninja. But, mm, 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 that ain't love. Mm, mm. And, you know... It's like he hated women. How he treated them. You know? Mm, so I don't know what's wrong with Diddy and what made Diddy this way about women. And he has a mother. And how could he do this to women? Mm, mm, mm. I tell you. But don't believe that. Uh, the industry didn't know this about Diddy. You know, when everything comes falling out, you know, that's the same thing about Bill, Co Bill Cosby, um, R. Kelly, all of them. You know, when shit hits the fan, it's like we find out about it. Oh, but the industry been knowed about it, okay? And they let it go on and go on until, you know, it's time for them to... Uh, Eliminate them, you know. Uh, like I said, like I always said, and if you you've been with me uh, years, you always hear me say, "The devil don't play fair." Mm, he don't. And these artists and celebrities, they they make a pact with the devil, and uh, hmm, the devil gonna want his pay sooner or later. Mm, yeah, get my drift. Mm. Well, guys, I'm going to ask you the question. What do y'all think? All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so very much for watching. And I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, important, be blessed, y'all.